Today, the German Luftwaffe continues to attack our shore, and day after day, the RAF takes its heavy toll. This beautiful summer of 1940 will be remembered as Britain's finest hour. But let us not forget the men on the ground. Apart from the regular army, there is Britain's citizen army, the Home Guard. So far, they haven't been hit with tanks. But are they prepared to wait? Not coming at you. <laughs> Back in equipment, they certainly make up with ingenuity and British bulldog fighting spirit. Watch this. It's the latest thing in flamethrower. A veteran of many campaigns demonstrates the deadly effect of this weapon. <laughs> so watch out, adults. We're on the home ground now. And what's more, we're preparing a warm welcome. Oh, you never missed the old faces. Bottoms. I beg your pardon, Frank. Bottoms. 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 Oh, and tops. <laughs> the uniform bottoms and tops have arrived, sir. Why didn't you say, sir, in the first place? Where are they? Oh, Mr. Wilson signing for them now, sir. Sign for them, oh. sir. They're uh, 25 pairs. Oh, well, there are 17 of us at uh, one and a half pairs each. How many caps? 16, sir. Ah, that's one short. Now, that will lead to trouble, Wilson. Yes, well, perhaps you could give the fellow without a cap an extra pair of trousers, sir. What do you that? Well, as we've only got five rifles, sir, why don't we let the one without a cap have a rifle all the time? No, no, that would only upset the rifle rotor. Besides, the man with the rifle doesn't have a water bottle, so that in turn would upset the water bottle rotor. can't <laughs> 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 on altering all the rotors. No, 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 I agree. You, you've taken great pains over them both. That a great deal of thought, sir. I mean, it's about time somebody else drew them out. Take it in turn, you mean? Yeah. That's a very good idea. Draw up a rotor for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sir, why don't you let me take back a pair of trousers down to GHQ and I'll swap it for an another cap. Ah, yes, that's a very good idea, Pike. Yes. <coughs> Nearly 5.30. Off we go. Right, sir. That's a good idea, sir. Very good. Hey, which are you going? It's only 5.15. It's all right, Miss Gaines. You can go, too. Oh, thank you very much, sir. King. Yes, sir? Draw those lines on your way out, will you? Please. Sort these trousers out. Yes, we'll be there. Do you hear, Sam? The night is king. On my bike, it will get over. Do you think it's right, sir? Fair, really, that we should be choosing ours before the others get a chance? Oh, it's not really a question of choosing them, is it? It's, yeah. a, it's a question of making sure we get a good fit. Yeah, that's fair, sir. Uh, Yes, really, any sizes on them? You see, 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 see. You're all right. Yes. I think I've got these on back to front. Huh? <laughs> Line of the sand, sir. 
No fly. Uh, no fly. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's not all right. They're, they're at the side. Very <laughs> 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 inconvenient. Yes. What? I see. Thank you very much indeed. <coughs> Seems there's been some mistake. These are not intended for us at all. Well, who were they intended for then, sir? The ATS. Now that my So, ah! One, two, three. One, two, three. One. One. All right. Center rank. Center rank. Slow. Ah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Many ready for your inspection, sir. You missed the rank out. Oh, Hannah, I'm so sorry, sir. All right. Rear rank. Slow. Ah. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. The men are now ready for your inspection, sir. Order arms, stand the men at ease. Really rather a waste of time, wasn't it, sir? Wilson. Nothing. All right, sir. All right, sir. Order arms. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. One. <laughs> Stand at ease. Well, we've got some good news today, men. You've had an issue? of field service caps. Oh, that's your job. So after the command fallout, collect your caps from Lothcorp Jones and gather around for a lecture. Soon, fall out. Here, give us a six and seven eighths, will you? You'll be lucky they're large, medium or small. Oh, well, in that case, I'll have a large. They are big, Ed. I'm the same. <laughs> I want a small one, please. There you are, Mr. Godfrey. Uh, uh, which side do you put them on? You put them on the right side, like oh, that, oh, see? Uh, uh, does it suit me? Well, if you're retreating, you've got it on back to front. <laughs> hey, you don't expect me to stick that thing on my head, do you? You can stick it where you like, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the man that gives them out, see? All right, pay attention, gather around. Go so along, quickly. Now, let's sum up our situation. In spite of shortages, we've made ourselves into a compact fighting unit. We have five rifles, ten rounds of ammunition for each rifle, four water bottles, and now we've got a cappy. <laughs> Not to mention the various items of equipment that we've improvised for ourselves. Quite an advance on the early days, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, now, today, I want to deal with enemy agents. As you know, they're being dropped all over the place in various disguises. Nuns, priests, peasants, police. In fact, some of them might even be disguised in British, uh, British Army officers. And they'd come up to you or give you stupid instructions. Then, uh, how do you tell the difference? <laughs> Use your head, Fraser. You can always tell when a man is really British. Excuse me. Is this the HQ of the first platoon D Company Home Guard? <laughs> yes, it is. What can we do for you? I'm from HQ Area Command. I should like to ask a few questions. Yes, uh, certainly, Captain. Corporal, yes, sir. carry on with rifle maintenance. Right, now, what did you want to know, sir? I want to know exactly what weapons you have. Well, at the moment, of course, we've... Uh, uh, just we've a moment, sir. Just a moment, sir. Just a moment, sir. Excuse me, Captain, would you for this one second? Uh, yes, sir. How do we... Uh, how do we know that he's not a German spy? Well, of course he isn't. The British Army officer's uniform. Yes, well, the accent doesn't exactly match the uniform. <laughs> well, don't let's be snobbish, Wilson. 
mean there can be a public school man to hold a commission. This is wartime, you know. Well, look at his cheek. He's got a dueling scar. <laughs> Some pretty rum goings on at Oxford in the 20s, you know. <laughs> <coughs> you may be right, even so. If you are, I'll soon put a stop to his little game. Right. So, you want to know what kind of weapons we have, do you? That is right. Right. Come on, Trainer. Well, we have this for a start. Mm -hmm. Get your hands up. A bit, uh, Get him up! A bit, but I don't... Come, have, uh, uh, come with this man. I right, don't... Get, uh, right, get, but you don't... Come, don't silence, don't. be silent. Go on, get your hands up. Look, hands look, up. No. This is what do we do now, Wilson? I'd happen to you want to have a general staff meeting, sir. Ah, very good idea, yeah. Corporal Jones? We don't want to have that yard yard nine nine. No! Nine. But, sir, yes. Here, come on. Hang on to this. If he's as much as that tonight, let him have it. Right up. Right. <laughs> I just showed him the cold steel, sir. It never fails. Hey, don't lock it up on you, know, sir. Hey, don't lock it up on <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, sir, but it's going into action after all these years, yes, sir. sir. I think we ought to make quite sure that he really is a Nazi before we hand him over to the authorities. Yes. Well, there's only one thing to do. We must grill him. Over a slow fire, that's <laughs> <laughs> all. talk, sir. We did that in the Sudan. In the Sudan, we've done that part. Oh, pull it up again, of course. Oh. Savages. Everything will be done according to the Geneva Convention. Yes, sir. <laughs> what does it say here? Ah, oh, here we are. Interrogation of enemy suspect. Ah. Pronunciation test. Now, right. uh, I want you to say after me a few simple English words. A few simple English words. Yeah, I don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> now, say. Soothe. Soothe. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Rats. 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 No, no. Rats. I said rats. <laughs> <laughs> Those. Thought. <laughs> what would you do if Mrs. What, uh, what would Mrs. Mock say to you? She would say, can I do you now, sir? Here's a good one, sir. Who won the boat race in 1935? Cambridge. He's right, you know. He <laughs> was bleeding at the time. Was it? <laughs> Look here, who the hell are you? I'm Captain Winogradsky from the Polish Free Forces attached to GHQ. <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on. <laughs> We're very sorry, Captain, but it was an understandable mistake. I would call it a stupid mistake. Now, as you know, many German airmen from crash planes are landing everywhere. However, the area commander is a little anxious in case any British pilots are shot by mistake. It has not happened so far, but... A stitch in time saves um, something. Nine. Nine? <laughs> stitch in time saves... No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so he has issued an order that long parachutists are not to be shot down before they had a chance to disclose themselves. Furthermore, a bounty of ten pounds will be paid for every Nazi airman Captured, alive, and in good condition. <laughs> that is all. Good day to you, Captain. Hey, do you hear that? Ten quid for every Nazi airman caught in good nick. Yeah, hey, Jonesy, come here. Right. You and me are on patrol tonight. That's right. You want to keep your eyes open. Why? Bring your reading glasses. Yeah, watch <laughs> it. <laughs> here, here, hang on a tick, hang on. My feet are killing me. Put that 
lie down. What's the matter with you? A sniper might see it. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can't bomb me. There's no snipers around here. Not in a flipping Sudan now, you know. No, good job too. You wouldn't last five minutes, you wouldn't. Listen, mate, I could shoot fuzzy ones. He's just the same as you. Poor blighters had only got spears. It wasn't just fuzzy buzzies, it was flies and desert sores and dysentery and malaria and, and jippy tummy. And yeah, but you should have packed it up then, shouldn't you? No, we didn't pack it up because we were soldiers, wasn't we? There's a field marshal's batten in every knapsack. <laughs> you sound as if you'd have been better off with a bedpan. Oh, my God! Don't do that! I mean... Good, you could you could have frightened a light out of him at his time of life. It wasn't me, it was you, nearly jumped out your trousers. I could have shot you, boss. You are supposed to keep a lookout like soldiers, not talk like old women. You will be reported for slacking. Your name's Jones, sir. Pike, sir. And you? Smith. Walker. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> It is no use you try and give me falsies. <laughs> I will remember you all. You are the baby, you are the old grandpa, and you are the one that jumped out of his trousers. <laughs> Wake up your ideas. He, he's not supposed to talk to an NCO like that in front of his men. It's against Queen's regs, that is. King's regs, you silly old muffin. Here, what time do you make it? Half past one. Oh, blimey, another hour and a half. Here, listen, come on, let's pack it up. There won't be any German planes over tonight. Why do you have to open your big mouth? <laughs> hey, Mr. Jones, can you hear a plane coming? Yeah, and if it comes any low, I'll give him one right in the seat of his uncle, I will. <laughs> but he's coming this way. You cowardly bastards! What <laughs> of us? Ah, oh, bravo, lad. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I think that dropped over in that Coxwood, didn't it? Yeah, hello, the searchlights are after him. You're a bit late, mate. You could have killed my mate and me with that bomb. <laughs> Machine gunning us. Machine gunning innocent women and children. They don't care, you know. No, no, it's one of our fighters machine gunning him. Ah, well done, lad. Get the move on. Yeah. <laughs> You seem to be home now. Yeah, see, they just get the smell of one of our fighters and they're all foam. You cowardly bosh. Hey, Mr. Jones. What? What's that white thing spouting down? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a parachute. Shall I fire? No, no. Remember what the captain said. We've got to wait to see if he exposes himself first. <laughs> See? He's landed in the water. Oh! Surrender or we fire! Say if you're German. Say if you're British. Listen. If you are, say so. Can you see anything? No, I can't. It's too dark. <laughs> can you see that? Hey, yeah, I can. Hey, it's, it's coming towards us. I think I ought to fire, Mr. Jones. No, wait, wait, wait. Give you one more chance. Surrender or we fire. Go on in, go on in. Squeeze. <laughs> Blimey's taking off again. <laughs> that must be a secret weapon. No, it's his spirit rising up again. <laughs> no. There's something white floating in the water. 
I think I killed him, Mr. Jones. Oh, blimey, there goes our ten quid. <laughs> Go and fetch him. Eh? Go and fetch him, private. Go on. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Go on. Watch out! You've shot a bleeding swan! <laughs> <laughs> Killing swans are against the law, isn't it, Mr. Jones? Yeah, that's serious, that is. All swans belong to the king, swans do. But what are we going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to take him home. I'm going to pluck it, dress it, hang it up for a few days, and I'm going to have him with some roast potatoes and Brussels. Very tasty, very sweet. <laughs> what about the king? He's always eating it. <laughs> I think we ought to report it, you know, Joe. Here, yeah, listen, do you want your share or not? Of course I do. All right, shut up then. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll hide it. We'll pick it up later. All right, come on then. But I still think you ought to report it, Joe. I still think you ought to report it, Joe, you miserable old Joe. Was für eine Gegend zu kommen? Ich weiß nicht. Willst du eine Zigarette haben? Oh, ja, danke. Oh. Gute Sache. Mensch, guck mal die Zeit. Gar typisch britische Untüchtigkeit. Es sind nun schon zehn Minuten her, seit wir abgeschossen worden sind. Und keiner hat uns gefangen genommen. Kein Wunder, Sie verlieren den Krieg. Ja, ja, natürlich. Sch, was ist das? Mein oh. Gott, wir sind ja gerade abgeborgen. Wir sind in Afrika. Oh, sei nicht so blöd. Es ist doch viel zu kalt hier. Weißt du denn nicht, dass die Engländer Kolonial Truppen brauchen, die mit Spieren bewaffnet sind? Wie können die denn hoffen, den Krieg zu gewinnen? Luftwaffe! Luftwaffe! Du Nazis, you are! Go back, go back, go on! Gib mir einen Kriegstanz auf! Joe, Joe! I've got a couple of Germans here. What's the matter, Joe? I've caught a couple of Jerry's, a couple of Jerry's, Joe. Blimey, 20 quid's worth. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? The bounty, 10 quid for every German in good nick. Oh, I forgot about that, didn't I? I hadn't. Here, listen, how are we going to get them along? Cut their trouser buttons off. That's a good idea. Here, hang on to this. Wait a minute now. Oh, oh, God, my God. God. Be careful. I'm not sure how far you're going. That's because I haven't made up my mind yet, have I? <laughs> hang back. Oh, hey, here, up. oi. Stick them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, put you over your head. Hands up. Uh, oh, yeah, the hand. Oh, the hand. Oh, yeah. March. March. Come on, come on, keep them covered, Spidey. Why is it always me? Come on. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> you go next. Why? I'll feel safer. <laughs> Oh, good. Always glad to see you, sir. Well, put the light out. What? Oh, I'm so sorry. Just a minute, sir. Just a minute. Hang on. A moment. <coughs> there we are, sir. All right, you can come in now. Well, the damn door's locked. Oh, is it? All right, just wait a minute. I'll, I'll unlock it for you, sir. <coughs> What's the matter? I'll find the key. Well, put the light on. What? Where the key is. Put the light on. And then open the door. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Can't find the light. Oh, Mr. What? Find the wire. Find the... Ah, God, it's clever me. Oh, yes, I can see the key now. Quite clearly, sir. All right, just hang, hang on a minute, then. I'll be with you in a moment, sir. All right, you can come in. Are you there, sir? No, I'm here. Came round out of the way. Oh. 
Is it sharp? Yes, it is sharp, yes. Must get some light traps, some blankets or something. Yes, of course, you know. Is, uh, is anything happening out there, sir? <coughs> oh, they're combing the sky with searchlights, but ah. they don't seem to be finding anything. Right, sir, 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 we... Sir, permission to speak, sir? Yes, sir. We've captured a couple of Jerry parachuters. You what? Yes, sir. Just showed them the cold steel, they come quite as mouses. They don't like it up them, you know, sir. They don't know. <laughs> None of that. Keep them well covered, Pike. Well, Trim, I don't know what you chaps are talking about, but you're my prisoners. As long as you behave yourself, everything will be all right. You get up to any of your Nazi tricks, I won't answer for the consequences. We must uh, get on to headquarters at once, Wilson. All right, sir. All right, guard them well, Pike, Godfrey. Walker, Jones, come with me, make a report. <coughs> oh, splendid evening's work, this. Marvellous. Well done, Jones and Walker. Well Thank done, sir. indeed. Just wait till GHQ hears about this. Oh, sir, don't forget about the 20 quid, will you? Uh, hello, hello, hello. Hello? Hello? This thing's dead. Yes, I know it's dead, sir. They cut it off, you see. Cut it off? Yes. Very good, sir. Uh, uh, I come! <laughs> Explain to him, sir. It's all right. Yeah, the bill wasn't paid, sir, so they cut it off. Don't they know there's a war on? They can't cut it off. We're a military unit. This is an emergency. Oh, dear, it's the vicar's phone, sir, and he can't afford to pay it. Why? Well, because of the invasion scare, sir, and he's had to put a stop to all his campinology. What? Well, I mean, he, he can't ring his bell, sir. What's that got to do with paying the phone bill? Well, you see, the vicar's the editor of the Ring-a-Ding Monthly, you see, and there's top publication, you see, there's a <laughs> drop in his income, you know. Here am I, in command of a military unit with two valuable prisoners, and my communications have been severed. Permission to speak, sir? Yes. I've got a telephone in my shop. I can telephone them up from there, sir. Ah, good man, Jones. Go on. Off you go. Thank you, sir. I'm alive! <laughs> Oh, it's too late now, Morgan. Put it on again. Light, 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 light. <laughs> What's the matter? Permission to speak, sir. Well, of course you've got permission. Blast you. Yeah, hey, listen, there's no need to talk to him like that, sir. I mean, after all, it's all right. It's time it's of all life. Right. It's all right, Walker. It's all right. Uh, dear. Captain Mannering meant no offence. So What's sorry. the matter, Jones? I don't know GHQ's telephone number. Well, why don't No, no, of course you don't. <laughs> sorry, Jones. <laughs> You've done very well tonight. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, sir. With a man like you about, Britain's no need to fear for a future. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll bring you half a pound of liver later on. Don't miss any more time. Live by the lights! <laughs> Live! <laughs> Who's in charge here? You're not pushing me about that. This is a, a Captain Mannering here. Oh, it's you. Now, look here. If I have any more trouble with this place, I shall remove your bulb. Understand? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be exceeding your authority if you so much as laid one finger on it. Enemy aircraft are circling overhead. They've already fired several haystacks in the vicinity. And if I didn't know otherwise, I'd say you were signaling to the enemy. Here, I know you've got your job to do, Warden, but aren't you going just a little bit too far? May it hmm? you to know that I have two enemy airmen out there in the hall. I don't care if you've got Gordon and Gobbles out there. <laughs> if you don't put this light out, I shall extinguish it myself, personally. I'm in the middle of an operational emergency. Get off my premises. I'm going, but I've warned you, and you, and my life! My life. <laughs> now, has anybody interrogated those two? In case there are any more of them roaming about? Not as far as I know, sir. Right. Well, you man, it's a couple of squashes here. Uh, yeah. hey. Where are they? Oh, they went outside with Mr. Godfrey, sir. Went outside? What on earth for? Oh. They wanted a tinkle, sir. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's what me mum calls it. Yes, it's when she <laughs> says dinkle, she means... Uh, uh, they don't perfectly well what she means. <laughs> he's rifled with him, sir. They shouldn't be very long. Mind you, they've been gone quite a while now. But yet, I say, uh, have they come back? No, Mr. Godfrey. Oh, the rotters. Come <laughs> here. Yes, yes, yes. Get out to the sergeant. All right. Take whoever's on guard with you. Very well, sir. Yes. Uh, no, come here, Godfrey. What happened? Well, the, the foreign gentlemen, sir, they wanted to wash their hands. <laughs> well, why didn't you tell them they couldn't? <laughs> We're not beasts, are we, sir? <laughs> Go on. Well, I, I took them to the outside convenience, sir. Mind, I, I, I shoved one down the spout. What, well, a German? Uh, no, sir, a bullet, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was very dark at the time, but I kept as close to them as I possibly could, uh, in the circumstances. You went inside with them, of course. Uh, no, sir, they, they locked the door. Well, didn't you think that was suspicious? Uh, yes, you see, I, I usually lock the door myself. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Well, well, they seem to be taking rather a long time, and so I, I, I sort of cough to sort of give them a kind of hint. Cough. <laughs> you should have done a damn sight more than cough. I, I did, sir. I, I called out to them. When they didn't answer, I went round to the little window at the back. Which, of course, was open. No, sir. No, it was closed and, and barred. Well, how did they get out? Well, uh, while I was down the little window with the back, I only surmised that they slipped out to the little door in front. <laughs> Holy suffering cats! <laughs> Any sign of them? Well, actually, sir, I, I, I haven't really looked. You see, I forgot to take my rifle. It's awfully stupid of me. Would you excuse me? Get after them! <laughs> and you fight! Yes, sir. Thanks, Scott. The MPs will be here any minute to collect them. I'm going to look a right fool. Well, I, I said it, sorry. Uh, sir, sir, what about if I ring them up and say it's all a practical joke? No, we're the practical <laughs> joke, Walker. I just recapture these men who say they have escaped from your custody. Is that correct? Yes, yes, I'm afraid it is. I don't know what sort of an army you are in, Captain Men Waring, but I don't think it is the same as mine. <coughs> I've no difficulty in surprising your patrols. You still have no guards outside your headquarters. I've complained from ERPs that you are signaling to the enemy, and now you allow prisoners to escape. All these inefficiencies will be reported. Furthermore, I shall claim the bounty for these men myself. I see. I think your attitude's a little high-handed, to say the least. If you have any further comments to make to me, I'll be in my orderly room. Good. That will leave me free to interrogate these men. See, they're well covered this time, Walker. Uh, sure. Yeah, the arm will carry Kenny along. Organizing, sure. Stephen, Brian, Brandy. You've got some Jerry's prisoners here, mister. Oh, that's right, Sergeant. Blimey. Three of them. No, Danny said two. <laughs> it must have been a bad line. Oh, no, will you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it must have been. All right, you lot, outside in the van. Uh, Oi! Outside in the van. Uh, hey, Bob. <coughs> this one's dressed as a British officer. I am a British officer, you fool. <laughs> you, you don't sound like one, does he, Bob? Did he come with the others? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, he did. Listen, I'm a British officer. Attached to HQ area command. Look out, he's got a gun. Bob, get it off him. What are you doing? You shouldn't have let him keep it, you know. I'm sorry, Sergeant. I'm a bit new to this game, you know. Look, I'm a British officer. Here are my papers. <laughs> Here is my identity card. Here is my railway warrant to London for my leave tomorrow. And here is a letter from the lady I'm going to see in Golders Green. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these, Bob. What do you think? Uh, uh, Sarge, you've got to hand it to these people. 
They're very thorough. Yeah. Yeah, you're darn right. I'll find the man with him. I protest. You are making a mistake. Can I do you now, sir? Cambridge won the both of in 1900. They don't know when they're beat, do they? No. Just put in the cherries in the van, sir. There's your receipt. Pop, pop along to your brigade HQ with that, and you get 30 quid bounty, sir. 30 pounds? That's right, sir. Three prisoners, 30 pounds. Good night, sir. Three prisoners? Ah, yeah, well, uh, well we, we had to smoke the luck, sir. Another one turned up. <laughs> How did you persuade the captain to give his share up? Well, he sort of persuaded himself, sir. <laughs> As your liver, sir, there's a couple of kidneys to make up the weight, sir. Yeah, I'll round you up a couple of black market shops. You can have a nice big squirrel. Henry, Captain Manning, sir, they disappeared into thin air. Oh, you're too late, Wilson. I've dealt with all that. They're on the way to headquarters. Plus another one that Walker managed to round up from somewhere. Long you don't tell me you're getting them on the black market and all. <laughs> there they go. Well, quite an eventful evening. Very good, sir, yes. I say, as we got an extra ten pounds, why don't we spend five pounds of it on the celebration platoon dinner? Oh, do that, yes, yeah, sir, why not? Uh, would you like to order now, sir? What do you suggest? Well, uh, for a fiver, I will rustle you up a medieval dinner. <laughs> What's that? A very rare luxury, sir. Roast swan. <laughs> <laughs>